what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys. Today we are on our Town Hall 9, my favorite base. I'm loving this. I'm loving upgrading. I'm loving all this kind of stuff. I'm loving building up again. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so we have our first Town Hall 9 base design right here, guys. Y'all can take a screenshot if you want to. Um, we'll go ahead and go into edit layout. I'll go into eraser mode and you guys can see what it looks like here without all the buildings in it. That way you can take a screenshot of uh, the layout of it and then you can throw in the uh, the buildings and whatnot however you please. So that's what it looks like right there guys. If y'all want to take a quick screenshot. Um, I've built a base like this in the past. We'll go ahead and exit out of that now. Um, I've built a play, uh, blah, blah, blah. I built a bait like <laughs> I built a base like this in the past for Town Hall 10 where um, there's a lot of open sections and stuff and as this base uh, levels up, as I level it up and so on and so forth, whatever um, it's going to get a lot better and stronger. So if you have a stronger Town Hall 9 than I do and you try this out, it'll probably work better than mine is working for me right now. So um, you can see that it's got good air defense coverage um, all in the center of the base uh, with the air sweeper up there at the top with that um, other air D and then all three of these down at the bottom. We got those Teslas and that Archer Tower as well doing a good job. We've got cannons spread out all around the base uh, doing really really good for us there with that. Uh, we've got our wizard spread out as well. We've got one, two, three, and four doing work. Now the only thing is I'm upgrading so much right now that uh, from a defensive standpoint it just sucks sometimes because you can just get crushed. So I'm going to show you guys an attack uh, or a defense recently that I was actually pretty happy with. Um, I'm trying to protect my elixir more than my gold right now because I really want to upgrade my loons. So we've got to grind that out. We've got to get as much elixir as I can. So I'm trying to protect that. So that's why you can see three of those and then one of those in the middle and then this gold right out here. So we'll go ahead and jump into this defense replay for you guys though. All right, so here we go. We're getting attacked by some weird board. <laughs> He's going to attack with giants from over here in the left. You can see that on that side, I have my level 1 queen as well as a upgrading wizard tower. So if the wizard tower wasn't there and the queen was a little bit higher like many of y'all's would, obviously the situation would be a lot different. Uh, so the giants go in there. They get a little bit of damage from that uh, giant bomb. Now, our, look how close that was. Our air defense almost took out their healer. It was so good, but he dropped down that rage just in the nick of time. Um, now they're gonna head over there, gonna take out that one, boom, there go those giant bombs, taking that out. They're gonna take out that one elixir storage, which is fine, um, because we still have two of them up, holding 230,000 more of our elixir. So he's gotten 120 of it. Um, he's only gotten two dark elixir, which is awesome, so the center of the base, uh, is doing really, really well for us. Uh, I don't know why those barbarians, there they go, so the barbarians are finally attacking the king. For some reason they weren't earlier. Um, and now these archers are gonna be able to pick off all of this gold in the center uh, right here as well once they change targets. So that kind of sucks since they did destroy that cannon and that archer tower they were, able, they were able to take that out. But for the most part the core of our base guys is still good. Dark Elixir untouched. I think the two that they got was from one of the mines over on the left. So that's completely untouched. Um, only a third of the elixir is gone and then half of the dark, uh, half or more of the gold, well now more than half of the gold is gone as well with that bottom portion. So you can kind of switch it out if you want. If you want to throw a gold storage in there in the middle and bring your uh, and bring your clan castle out, you can do that. I don't really request troops that much because I don't donate much since my troops are still low level. Um, so there's one of the defenses, guys. I was happy with that. It held off 41%. It held off uh, from the elixir being stolen as well as the dark elixir. So I was happy with that. Um, I don't request troops that much because I feel bad because I don't donate with uh, how low a level troops I am. So I'm actually going to bring this clan castle out um, and take this gold and throw that in the center for us and then put the clan castle right here. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. You guys can leave it how it was. If I did have clan castle troops in there, again, that would have completely changed everything uh, when it comes to how the base uh, held up. So I was happy with that. But for the most part, guys, I, I think this base is going to be good. We've got our... Uh, we've got our expos out here on the sides. There is so much going on outside. I'm sorry for all the noise if you can hear it. You probably can't even hear it because of how focused this mic is, but it's pretty freaking annoying. <laughs> so the expos are doing a great job of covering the center of the base for us. 
as are the wizard towers. You can see that we've got wizard towers on practically all of the loot. Um, a, a couple of the edges of these elixir uh, storages aren't covered, but for the most part they are. And then um, we've just got good coverage with the mortars as well. You can see that they cover literally the entire base. Almost the only part of the base that they don't cover is these three buildings right here, which I'm perfectly fine with. So we are going to start upgrading um, some of our other defenses as well, like mortars and things like that, very, very soon. But uh, for the most part, guys, that's just showing you guys how the base has held up. Again, if we go to the defense log, you can see that uh, this one at the very bottom was from the other day. All of these are just people picking off the town hall. Uh, I showed this one in my last video where, the, where I had the hole in the base and they just attacked from the Teslas. It was pretty funny. But that's going to be it, guys. Again, if y'all try out the base, let me know how you like it. Let me know how it does, uh, how it works for you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode, all right? As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me. See you guys.